Hi Virgos, how are you today? Just going to do a healing oracle card to meditate before we do the three cards of mental plane and three cards of our feelings. So what do Virgos need to know today? What do Virgos need to know today? Okay, so the healing aspect is sensitivity sensitivity we all know um, that we can be sensitive at times are we being oversensitive or not sensitive enough are we too sensitive to our environment around us we'll have a look at what's mentally going on what Virgos need to know mentally what lessons to learn on the mental level You think I could shuffle by now? Right, okay, so three cards on the mantle. So we have the King of Summer, the King of Summer. So this means that you will be thinking quite passionately, um, quite sensitively, psychically and gentle so the more gentle and sensitive you are with yourself the more productivity maybe can happen also we have the nine of winter the nine of winter so here you can see over worrying and being oversensitive with certain issues might not also serve you well now, in this particular card, you will see the two white doves right at the bottom. This will signify to yourself that peace, peace of mind is definitely coming or you've already got that. So if you allow yourself to be gentler on your mindset, then worrying needlessly doesn't have to be there. Six of autumn. So you've got an aspect that give and receive. So mentally, we can have a look at what is, what are we telling ourselves? What is the universe telling ourselves? Are we giving to us what we really need to be aware of? Being oversensitive to issues around us isn't naturally serving us. But if we're kind and gentle and a little bit more psychic, relying on our higher self a little bit more instead of over worrying then we can give to ourselves on a practical level as well let's see what our hopes and dreams are like and our feeling today virgo so what do virgos need to know emotionally Firstly, we have the six of winter, the six of winter. So this will show that your emotions can be moved away from worry, concern, new ways of thinking, new ways to tap into a pool, because you've got the king of um, emotions. Well, you did have, but he's gone. <laughs> but the aspect of moving away from issues that are no longer um, needed because you can see this um, pink see the pink in the card all about love self-love so emotionally if you um, connect to a way that can move yourself self away from a pool of unwanted thoughts and worries and concerns then you can put yourself in a better place to feel emotionally happy so being sensitive to newness a new way of teaching yourself because that him that just jumped over the table he <laughs> he always likes to be alone but he's about connecting as well on an emotional aspect it's if, if your thought process is very much about teaching yourself to be gentle 
then you don't have to rely on another person. He's gone, by the way. <laughs> so let's have a look at what else is going on. The Ten of Winter. So emotionally, we can see we have to look at things in a different way. We have to... Can you see she's going? She's going to a new village. What was wrong with her at her own? Well, we don't know. But what we do know is we have to emotionally attach to moving away moving away we can do that and here we're going to do that our heart will move away from what's no longer serving us also with the eight of autumn here is a time to relearn relearn on an emotional level what's important so this sensitivity is about relearning rewiring ourselves in a way that we can give and receive to ourselves so we can teach ourselves that king of um, water that just jumped over the table it is a teacher so we can learn and adapt and teach ourselves in order to teach others what's going on so the needless worry and concern about moving on is is a kind of aspect that has to take place so uh, it's also being sensitive about your environment as well what issues do we have to move away from what is making us unhealthy sometimes where we are um, in in our environments in our home in our workplace in our families in our group of community we have to move away from she, she's learned this she's learned that she has to move away from what's toxic what's no longer needed so the thought process with the king of cups who jumped over the table he knows all this so somewhere within you you've got a wealth a pool of knowledge you really have so it's about tapping into that, being sensitive to it and being empathetic to your situation to be able to move forward. So I wish you all a lot without Virgo and we'll see you again later. Take care. Lots of love.